Welcome back to Football News Center. Today we're talking about Celtic's dismal Champions League campaign and the need for consolation. Celtic Park, once a stronghold for European battles, has become a dream draw for other teams. With only one point and a goal difference of minus 11 from five matches, Celtic's performance has been disappointing. Their only consolation is that Antwerp has a worse record in Group H. In Brendan Rodgers' second tenure as manager, Celtic is facing broader concerns. They suffered a second defeat of the campaign against Kilmarnock, and their rival Rangers have taken the lead in the title race. Rodgers himself admitted to being the angriest he has ever been as a manager during a halftime team talk. The team's defensive weaknesses and passive attacking style have become a recurring problem. After a lackluster performance against Lazio, Rodgers expressed his frustration and called for more experience and quality in the team. This is a departure from Celtic's previous strategy of signing project footballers. Rodgers is aware that his reputation is at stake, and he wants to avoid being seen as cannon fodder on a bigger stage. Now, the Celtic board is under pressure to back their manager in the January transfer window. Supporters who long for the return of Ange Postecoglou should remember that his European record at Celtic was also poor. Celtic has dominated in Scotland but has fallen behind in Europe for the past decade. Shareholders at Celtic's recent AGM expressed their dissatisfaction, and it seems that the club is finally realizing that this situation is unacceptable. While Rangers' run to the Europa League final in 2022 earned them praise, their performance in the Champions League this season has been abysmal. They scored only two goals, conceded 22, and failed to register a single point. This is the worst record in Champions League history. Rangers may have European football post-Christmas, but their performance raises concerns about their relevance on the European stage. Scottish football as a whole has been left behind domestically and technically. The standard of the league is low, as evidenced by Aberdeen's celebration over a draw against Helsinki and Hart's struggles against Pauk. Scottish clubs have struggled against less illustrious opposition, and this is a cause for alarm. Scotland's coefficient position is still decent but if the current trend continues, it will inevitably decline. The major clubs have the power to push for radical reforms in the Scottish Football Association and Scottish Professional Football League to improve the situation. As Celtic prepares to face Feyenoord in their final Champions League match, they have a chance to end the campaign on a high note. Feyenoord has nothing to play for, and Celtic's last win in the competition was in September 2017. It's been a painful record for Celtic and if they want to be taken seriously outside of Scotland, they need to change their performance in Europe. That's all for today's update on Celtic's Champions League campaign. Stay tuned for more football news and analysis. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.